Good afternoon from Hartnell Farm here in Tiverton for the 17th Mid Devon Show. Organisers are hoping for a record breaking attendance here and say the conditions are right so people can flock here to see what Mid Devon has to offer. Barracuda once again maintained the party atmosphere well into the afternoon and the crowds gathered to watch a packed schedule at the music and dance pavilion throughout the day. But it was also an entertainment extravaganza in the show's main ring, where the heavy horses and the fox hunting displays were joined by Cyril the Squirrel's terrier racing display team. Then the highlight of the main ring action, Moto Stunts International with their dangerous and mesmerising manoeuvres. <laughs> Got an absolutely fantastic crowd here. We, we haven't seen a crowd this big for a long while, no, have we? Really, and it's not even that nice of a day, and there's still massive of people everywhere. It looks pretty risky. How risky is it? Well, during the call, uh, the crew I've got with me at the moment Dan, Gary, James, Haley, all been with me over probably about 15 years, some of them, so uh, they're still here. <laughs> you've been here all day. What has the response been like from people who've come to say hello? Oh, and have yeah, a fantastic! Yeah, they've really enjoyed the show. Really nice people too here, around and everywhere. It's Devon because I'm from Devon, so they're friendly. Organizer Carolyn Branton has been getting the show up and running for 15 years, but said that she and her team of dedicated volunteers don't find the task any easier than when they first began. There, well done, very well done. Thank you very much. No, it doesn't, because every year there's more and more, uh, more and more going on, more and more legislation to contend with and things like that. So, um, and, and it becomes more and more popular, so more and more people want to ask more questions. So I can't say it gets any easier. We keep streamlining it, but I can't say it gets any easier, but um, it's a very, very busy job to do. <laughs> Would you say your experience helps though in getting it off the ground? Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it, it helps. Um, yes, if, if somebody was coming in new to this job, they would, I think they would find it quite a challenge. But uh, it is very enjoyable and rewarding as well. You have to remember that. <laughs> it's, it's just been a fabulous day all around. The weather is perfect. In fact, it, it's so perfect because if it's too hot, everybody goes to the beach. And it's nice and cloudy, so we've got everybody here. We've got a fabulous uh, amount of people showing today. And how are you enjoying the day so far? Well, it's been fabulous. I've been around uh, the countryside tent. I've seen the pigs. I judged. Well, I didn't judge the pigs. Um, I presented the rosette to the uh, to one of the winners, which is great. And I've learned an awful lot about cattle. I've learned an awful lot about a lot of things that I haven't known. But it's, it's been really good fun. This year's show charity was the Royal Agricultural Benevolent Institution. The charity is celebrating its 150th anniversary. Money raised for Rabbi will help provide welfare, care and financial advice to farmers and farm workers who suffer through hardship, illness, accident or injury. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. The overall mood of the industry is tremendous and as you can see from the show here today, people are very optimistic, best livestock, best show stands, you can have almost in the world. But for every farmer that is finding the going very, very good, there will actually be some who are actually finding it tough. And we are there to help those who are struggling, whether they're in fact retired or whether they're working still. We have competitions from naming a cow competition, 
looking at some rather antique agricultural implements with some very, very strange uses. We're asking people to guess. We're also collecting on the gate. But what we want to do is to raise awareness as much as money. Um, we need people to know that we're there. Elsewhere, another anniversary was being celebrated in the Women's Institute and Country Markets tent, where Devon's WI were enjoying their 90th year. We do a cooperative competition, and that means that all the WIs put in a display, and you know which we then judge. And then we also have a, a celebration of craft, which is a display of crafts, because this year is the Devon Federation's 90th birthday. And so we've got a nice celebratory sort of event for that. And so they've, they've put together all this nice display for that as well. So we've got two events, and we also sell some of our items here as well. There were more colourful displays in the garden tent, where this year the theme was meadows and grassland. Yeah, we've had two meetings um, of people that were interested in setting it up, which ends up only about six or eight of us, and then we plan what we're going to do. Try to get the theme of the show, which was grasslands. So half of our display is a field as grassland, and then we've got our garden garden and vegetable garden the other half of it but so we plan when we're going to plant it and it's a bit hit and miss because you don't know what the flowers are going to grow or plants are going to grow or not but it's very enjoyable A sight commonly seen in the meadows and grasslands surrounding Mid Devon are the many breeds of livestock, and some of the best in the region were at the show, with owners hoping all their hard work would pay off in the form of a rosette or a trophy. What specifically do you have to do to make a prize winning sheep? Um, prize winning sheep, you have to have this quality stock to start with the breeding, both on the female and the male side, but you also need the luck to be have the correct sheep. Come at, you know to get to get 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 it all, all to work. And how will you be celebrating your win? Uh, been celebrating today. Had a pint. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's important that uh, we we keep agriculture and the whole the whole ethos of of uh, British agriculture in front of the public. And I think uh, the Mid Devon Show is a very good example of that. And I think it's a good family show, it's a good uh, publicity for all the breeds, cattle breeds and sheep breeds um, and other animals in the, in the UK. It wasn't just the farm animals that were being judged, as trade stands were all battling it out to be named as the best in show. One of those winning a rosette was the Vale Veterinary for having the most educational stand. Absolutely marvellous! Uh, what do you put your success down to? Um, mainly all the hard work of all the people that work at the Vale Veterinary Centre yes. because they put on these displays which are very, very educational. Um, Fantastic. What advice would you give to other people who might want to emulate your success in the future? Well, we, I don't want to give any advice because that means we might not win it again next year. <laughs> Um, but I think we've probably, it's probably the success of all the, the staff that have put on the displays um, just because they know so much about their job. However, there could only be one overall winner and that went to Creative Cow Theatre Company from Bickley who came with scarecrows depicting characters from their upcoming performance of The Farmer's Wife. It was, it was quite a hard graph putting it together but it's all worth it. Very pleased, very, very pleased. How long did it take to put it all together this morning? We got here at about quarter to seven this morning and it took, what, an hour and hour and a half, two hours? But that's, that's because... That's setting all, it up. we have done the work for the last fortnight. <laughs> but all worthwhile, I assume. Oh yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. And we'll have more on them later on in the month. But now the show has finished once again for another year and there was so much it's impossible to cram it all into one video. So we'll have to come back again next year and see what else we can find. And we hope to see you there. So until then, I'm Lewis Clark for Lose News.
at the Mid Devon Show. <laughs> <laughs>